And we turn to New Hampshire now and to a case that made national headlines here back front and center tonight. The high school graduate who attended a prestigious school tried for sexual assault, now behind bars tonight. Owen Labrie, convicted of luring an underage girl by computer, but out on appeal, back before a judge today for violating his curfew, a reporter spotting him on a train. That judge tonight revoking his bail. ABC's Gio Benitez was in the courtroom. I'm going to revoke bail. Tonight, Owen Labrie is behind bars, quickly whisked away in handcuffs after a judge ruled he violated his curfew. The now 20-year-old convicted last fall of misdemeanor sex assault on an underage schoolmate at St. Paul's School, his victim testifying at trial. I was raped. Labrie was acquitted of felony rape charges, but was convicted of luring an underage girl by computer and was sentenced to a year in jail. He was out on bail pending appeal, but last month, a reporter for Vice spotted him on a train and began tweeting about their conversation. He's in town visiting his girlfriend. That launched an investigation. Your Honor, he lied to the jury. He lied to Your Honor. And now he's been walking around, not only with his chin up, but with his nose up in the air, snubbing Your Honor's court order. The defense arguing he was traveling to meet with lawyers and attend a lecture for his classes. So he chose wrongly, Your Honor, admittedly, to try to fly under the radar. He's sorry. And David, the judge said no matter the reason, Labrie violated his bail and now he could spend a year behind bars. David.